Hi everyone, this is Shreemai from Mediva and we would be discussing something interesting. Every healthcare professional when they step into a hospital, they should be very well aware about IV cannulation. Now how one can be perfect in an IV cannulation? One can be good if we have a clear picture when we know where the vein is located, what is the length of the vein and how perfectly it is aligned. For that, we need to have a clear knowledge about anatomy of vein so that we can easily put an IV cannula. The IV cannulation is not only done into the upper limbs but it is also done in the lower limbs. Now the criteria is when are we doing it in the lower limbs is specifically a female has undergone mastectomy on both the sides. AV fistula is present on one arm and the other arm is having hematoma which is an emergency condition and the person is dehydrated and immediate gush of fluid has to be given. But also the high priority would always be upper limbs because it is having a closer vicinity to the heart. Whereas an IV cannula is put into the lower limb, it goes little far from the heart because of which it is the last choice. So now without any delay, let us understand the anatomy of the vein and location of it. In certain situations, we have to give IV cannulation at the lower limb or leg. In that case, which are the main areas? So basically, it is the great saphenous vein which is actually extending from the pelvis and going extending down to the greater toe. So as it goes down, this is the vein which is actually very dilated and thick. So we can easily measure it and can be given. This great saphenous vein is generally going below the malleolus at the medial section of the malleolus. So this is the area which is being selected for putting an IV cannula. This great saphenous vein on the way from the pelvis till the lower end, it multiplies into various branches. So as we see into the metatarsal region, the metatarsal region has multiple branches similar to that of metacarpal vein. These are the areas where we are seeing these branches. This is again called as dorsal venous branches. So these Y segments or these areas are dorsal venous branches. But these are not a very appropriate area for putting an IV cannula until and unless no other options are being left. Certain times uh, it is also being given but very fine needles are being or very fine cannulas are being placed over here. Next if we go to the small siphanous vein which is going into the other side of the vein the another branch that is a smaller siphanous vein which basically runs within the calf muscles is this smaller siphanous vein which actually goes into the lateral part of the leg and this is also a wonderful area to put an IV cannula and it goes beyond the malleolus into the lateral region. So if a person has to be given IV cannula in case of lower limb it is basically over this smaller saphenous vein. These vein which is extending which we can say is anterior tibial vein which is extending from the tibial region and going down. So this anterior tibial region in case of anterior tibial vein the leg has to be straight elongated so, because when a person normally keeps their leg it would be in a folded manner. So that is why this area is avoided but rather over this extended area as wider as 16 to 18 gauze of needle or cannula could be inserted. I'm sure now you're very much clear with the location of the vein in our hands as well as lower limbs or legs. So for such more interesting videos, please like, share and subscribe Mediva.